Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to split your bootstrap row. Now that we have a bootstrap row, we have it here. Again, they keep putting my code back here. I like it like this. That's why I can easily read it. H3 row. And within here, they've created empty space within the row. So we want to create two div elements within your row, both with classes call XS and dash six. So like I was saying, I, I literally was writing freelance code to this, this morning where I was using this exact kind of stuff. Um, so what, what are we doing? We're going, we're creating a new div. We're going with the class and we're setting the class equal to a column in which on very small screens, it takes up six columns. And then we close this div. And now let's do another one. Uh, div class is equal to column XS dash six. And then we close the div. Okay, cool. So this is going to be in there. And I'm pretty sure this is what they want. Now let's go into a little bit uh, more depth. Um, um, uh, div two, and then this one is called div one. Okay. So what Bootstrap does is you've got 12 columns. Bootstrap always breaks everything into 12 columns. There's six, and so if you have within a row you've got a column that takes up six and a column that takes up six, then what you're going to have is an evenly divided row. And so these div one and div two are going to be on the one. I think we could go like uh, primary. Uh, we could go like button. No. I mean, we could do button primary to fill them in. And then let's do this one button uh, secondary. Again, this is all just me trying to explain how this works. It's not something that you need to do. Uh, warning. Cool. So now we can see that it's divided it across. Now, XS means the point at which it breaks, and 6 is the number of columns it takes. So if we keep going smaller, XS just basically never breaks. It breaks right here on puny screens. I don't know if anybody actually has a screen like that. Now, what happens if we did MD? Um, you'll see they break much earlier. It already broke right here, and it doesn't ever go back. It always stays broken. But if we spread it out, you'll see on a medium-sized screen, it will um, split and become part of itself. So a lot of the times, I'll divide my buttons on a medium thing so that if the screen gets this small or this small, they, they stack down like that. And so you could also do large or whatever. And so that's what we're doing here. Uh, that's why using div... Um, are great. So in, what's another way that you could do this? Instead of doing it like six and six, you could be eight and four. And then, um, oh, we should make these excess again. Otherwise the screen's too small. And then you've got that uh, look like that. And when you have it, so that's that would be like more of a blog layout with a sidebar or something like that. Um, you can make it um, 10 and two. And that makes it so you've got this other, this, this other solid like big layout. Um, but if you make it over that, like 10 and 3, this one will automatically stack and it'll always be stacked because uh, 13 is too great for the columns. So the columns will start to stack like that. Um, so yeah, I think that maybe this will pass even when I have the buttons, the elements in there. Yeah, so this this just is me putting, I put made it buttons just because it's an easy uh, way to do this. Uh, it, it's an easy way to color the divs so that you can see what's actually happening here. Um, specifically what this code's asking you to do is just to write in here like this. Um, and you know, if you wanted to be the most precise or the cleanest kind of like solution to this problem would be this one, but uh, it doesn't really give you anything. So I'm just trying to explain why we're doing this uh, ahead of time. So as you move through this, you have more, um, in context for the kinds of things that you can do with bootstrap because bootstrap is super useful. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.